All right, we have a package right here from our friends over at TP Link Philippines. Alam na natin yan pagka TP Link has to do with networking. So, yun ang mga topic that ngayon. Buksan na natin. Let's go. Boom! Ito siya. So guys, this is the TP-Link Archer AX23. This is an 802.11ax router. That's the Wi-Fi 6 standard. So let's check out the information that's printed on the box. So faster speeds with Wi-Fi 6. Reduced latency. Okay. Enjoy smooth streaming and gaming with lower latency with Wi-Fi 6. Connect more, stay fast. So we are in the age of IoT, Internet of Things. These are your smart devices that are going to be connected to the network. So OFDMA provides four times greater capacity for more simultaneous connections. So hindi mag-clog-clog yung mga devices nyo in just a few limited, uh, limited access points. So you also get refined security with WPA3 support. So WPA3 enforces Wi-Fi encryption for improved security. Then you also get full gigabit ports. So if you have gigabit Ethernet, which is very important for your home networking since you have a lot of devices that are going to be connected and they're going to be sharing the same, um, the same access point, that is going to be very helpful as well. So explore the new era of Wi-Fi 6 and it has the One Mesh logo. So One Mesh is the technology that is proprietary to TP-Link. It allows you to create a mesh of devices that will work seamlessly. There's more information printed right here. I'm gonna show it to you up close and you can read it. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up right now. Okay guys, so ito na siya, Wi-Fi 6 router, AX23, ni TP-Link. This is a dual band router, so you have the 2.4 GHz band, you also have the 5 GHz band, which also supports Wi-Fi 6. So para dun sa mga techie dyan, kung narinig-rinig nyo na yung Wi-Fi 6E, iba naman yun guys. That's going to be on a different band, it's the 6 GHz band, and the hardware that you need that's needed to power those Wi-Fi 6E devices is much more demanding. So ito naman si Wi-Fi 6 na hiride lang siya sa 5 GHz band. Mas yun nga lang, mas expanded yung kanyang spectrum. Meaning magiging mas mabilis yung speed na makukuha ng mga na-connect sa kanya in addition to being able to connect more devices. So if you have a lot of smart devices, lalo na ngayon Naging mainstream na ang IoT devices. These are your home appliances like your air purifier, fan, um, vacuum cleaner, toothbrush. Ang dami, guys. Basta kumokonek sila sa wireless access point, either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band. It will be able to take advantage of the increased capacity of the TP-Link Archer AX23. So, without further ado, tignan na natin kung ano yung itsura niya sa loob. Actually, nakaprint na dito eh, di ba? Ayan. So, we fully expect that it's going to look like this thing right here. Okay, ganyan siya. Medyo compact yung kanyang size. I thought it would be much bigger. But actually, it's quite compact. No? Sa, para sa iba, siguro malaki na yung gantong Wi-Fi routers. But I've had 
much bigger router. So, I like the size. I like compact devices. Tanggalin natin siya sa plastic. Okay. So, naka-plastic pa yung apat na antena niya. Try natin tanggalin. Alright. So, ito na siya, guys. Here is the Archer AX23. Medyo ayusin lang natin yung kanyang antena. Ayan. So, you have four high-powered antennas on the Archer AX23. As you can see right here, yung kanyang design ay maganda naman. You have a glossy part here and you have a matte portion right here. Yung material niya, it's made of polycarbonate plastic. Okay guys, so here's the close-up of the top portion of the Archer AX23. As you can see, meron tayong glossy portion right here. Tapos the rest of the chassis is in matte black. And you have the nice TP-Link logo right here. You have four high-powered antennas right here. So ito naman yung ilalim ng ating Archer AX23 router from TP-Link. And as you can see, there are holes for the vents for air circulation. And you have the default SSID and password as well. So, ito naman yung likuran ng ating AX23. So, as you can see, you have the blue uh, WAN port, the wide air network port. So, dyan sinasaksak yung iyong modem. Okay. And you also have four wired Ethernet ports. Gigabit, gigabit lahat yan, yung WAN at yung LAN port. Okay, so aside from that, dito sinasaksak ang ating adapter. Here, you have the power button over here. You have a physical button for WPS for those of you na gumagamit nun. At sa iba ba nun, mayroong butas. If you, ever you wanna do a hard reset and return the router to its factory settings. Meron tayong kasamang Ethernet cable. At dito naman yung kanyang power adapter. So according to the label that's printed right here, the output is 12 volts at 1.5 amperes. So that is around 18 watts of power, which is not that high naman. For those of you who are conscious about your electric consumption, you guys can do the math. Keep in mind that this is going to be running 24 by 7. Most likely, hindi nyo papatayin to kahit na natutulog kayo. Okay, so for documentation, we have a quick start guide right here. And according to the information that's printed, there is a mobile app that you can use to quickly connect to the, uh, to the device, which is the TP-Link Tether app. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so sinaksak ko na ngayon yung AX23 and we're gonna power it up. Ayan, so umilaw na yung green dito sa power indicator which means our AX23 is now up and running. Siyempre, hindi ko pa siya kinoconnect sa ating uh, modem. So we're just gonna go and try to set it up using our mobile app. Okay, so I just installed the TP-Link Tether app on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. This is a Wi-Fi 6 device and now we're gonna see if we can add the AX23. Let's go! Okay guys, so now that we've connected to the AX23 access point, makikita nyo na lumabas din yung ating device sa TP-Link app. So now we're gonna go and select that so that we can add it to our application and manage it from here. So ang bilis lang nung setup process niya, I just had to go through four dialog boxes and yung pinaka-complicated portion na lang siguro nito is setting the name and the password of the access point if you don't want to use 
the default SSID and password. So right now we have one client, which is this device right here, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G. It is connected to the 5G access point and it shows up correctly. And I'm looking at the tools section. So we have a lot of options right here. Uh, we, you can set up the wireless and the internet settings. You can also set one mesh if you have other one mesh devices. You can also set the QoS or quality of service if you want to prioritize things like VoIP services. You also have parental controls that will allow you to filter content that you wouldn't want your kids to see. You also have network diagnostics, but we can't do that since we're running offline. You can also enable guest network, although I'd like to see if there's a way to control the bandwidth of the guest network so that they are not going to be consuming all your bandwidth if they connect to your access point. You can also control the LED on this device. There is a night mode setting. Let me see what that does. Okay, so I just turned on night mode and you can set the schedule. So I'm gonna change the schedule so that it would trigger night mode. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I just enabled night mode and it just turned off all the LED lights on our AX23 Wi-Fi router. There's also a quick option to change the operation mode so you can change it from a wireless router to an access point. You can also do scheduled reboots in case you ever find yourself in a situation wherein one of the devices causes some network issue. It might cause your uh, entire access point to choke. That is something that is a quirk in networks. And uh, it's nice to see that we have that feature in the TP-Link AX23. Now you can also change the system time. I'd rather get it from the internet automatically. Then you can also update the firmware from here. We are currently on the latest firmware. You also have advanced settings which you can only access through the web interface. So for those of you who are used to tinkering and working with the web-based interfaces of your wireless routers, there is that option which you can access via the default IP address that's 192.168.0.1. You can also open it from the mobile app. So ano nga bang masabi natin tungkol sa Archer AX23? Looks wise and the build quality, solid naman siya. Hindi siya ganun ka flashy, itim siya so medyo discreet siya at magbe-blend siya for sure sa mga bahay nyo kasi medyo elegant yung kanyang look at hindi siya masyadong agaw pansin. Maganda yung signal range ng kanyang apat na high powered antennas but of course yung pinaka the best dito is that you get Wi-Fi 6 support which is much faster compared to Wi-Fi 5 and as long as you have clients that support Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E, you will be able to get the benefit of much faster internet connection but of course within the limits of your plan with your current carrier. Na appreciate natin yung kanyang mobile app which makes configuring and setting things up, changing things quickly and seamlessly using just your mobile phone but also you have a much more powerful interface kung kakailanganin using the web interface you just have to connect to the network and open your browser and point it to the default ip address and you can use that to make advanced changes such as network address translation port forwarding etc etc if there was one thing na hinahanap ko na 
siguro hindi ko pa na explore masyado no but i've been looking for a way to define multiple access points and the other thing that i would like to see is the ability to control the bandwidth of specific access points so for example if i enable the guest network gusto ko halimbawa uh, 20 mbps lang para pagka may guests ako hindi nila kainin yung buong bandwidth ng aking network dahil hindi naman sila nagbabayad ng internet ko. So, yun lamang guys. Kung may katanungan tungkol sa Archer AX23, just leave them in the comment section below. Salamat sa inyong suporta. If you like this video, if you think nakatulong to sa inyo, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Paalam!